Hey teachers, today I am coming at you with another tip for using Google Slides and I am going to share with you one of my very favorite features that Google Slides offers. Google Slides Explore is an amazing feature, especially if you're having your students work on a research project and then create a slideshow presentation to go with it. So let's jump on my computer. I'm going to show you where to find it and how it works. I think you're going to love it, um, but let's jump on here now. So as you can see, I am in a brand new Google Slide presentation. And to use the Explore feature, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Tools, and then I'm going to click Explore, and you should see this pop up over here. Now, Explore will do a lot of things. Initially, it might give you some layouts that you can pick from, but where it is extremely helpful for students is that students can actually research a topic or find pictures to go in their presentation using this tool. So let's say your students are creating a presentation about George Washington. They can pull up the Explore tab, type in George Washington, and it is automatically going to find all kinds of information and images about George Washington. So if your student needs research, they can scroll through all of the top Google results are here. So they can scroll through those, click on one to get more information. And what I really like is the ease of being able to add images. So they can also click here where it says images. And let's say they wanna put this picture of George Washington in their presentation. They can click the plus sign and it will appear right here. And it will also give the attribute of where the image came from and who took it and all of that. So this is a really great tool. Like I said, it helps, oops, I did it twice. It helps with research, um, but I also really like it for the ease of being able to add images. So that is the Google Slides Explore feature. I love using this feature when students are conducting a research project, but I would love to hear ways that you think about using it in your classroom. Leave a comment below and let me know, and then make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel so that way you don't miss out on any of my other teaching tips. Until next time, happy teaching.